Hello and welcome to the Leah Noel Design Co. YouTube channel. I am going to be using a new paint today and doing a blend with you guys. The paint is called Mud Paint. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, this is actually the first day I've ever used it and I am finding it very easy to use. I had used Dixie Belle paint only exclusively for the last four years and so I'm branching out into, into some new paints and I thought it would be helpful to do this with you guys um, on the second time. The first time I did it on a Facebook Live, but to do it with you guys so that you could really see the ease of the paint and um, who knows, the second coat might not be easy, but I'm gonna bring you along. If it's not easy, I wouldn't be showing this video. So let's go for it. So I'm gonna be using Vintage Coral and China White, and these are mud paint. And then the bottom here I've painted in forest green so far. So that's as far as we've gotten on this piece. So I have my brushes. I'm still using my Dixie Belle brushes and um, they are a synthetic brush. So synthetic brushes are really good to use for, um, I find they're easier to use for blending. So let's go for it. So I'm gonna start actually with the China White um, and I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm just gonna go ahead and put another layer on. Now, I am finding that I did need two coats of the green going over my wood finish, right? Going over wood, um, the wood toned color. And I'm finding I definitely need at least two coats uh, for the white up here. I'm hoping only I only need two, I might need three. We'll see, right now it's looking like I'm only gonna need two. So I'm just gonna go ahead, get my white on, and I'm gonna kind of go in a circle because I got this, I have this like thing in the middle. So I just want that to be white and then I might dry brush some of the vintage coral over it. This is a really cool piece. I'm gonna be using vintage pinup girl paper on the sides. It's gonna be really cool, which of course you will see photos of that in the in the end here. So I'm finding that this paint has super durability. Um, this paint is just dry for uh, maybe two hours, not even, and um, I'm just finding that the durability of it, just scratching it after. Even even after a half hour, it was dry and I was able to scratch at it. So the durability factor is what I want for a piece that I'm painting and selling. Next, I'm gonna come in with my vintage coral and I'm just gonna paint these door frames. And then I'll come back later and I'll paint all of this because I wanna work with this paint while it's still wet. So, so I'm just gonna start with my vintage coral. And I'm just gonna do my door frame. I'll, like I said, I'll come back and do this all later because I wanna get my nice blend in. I'm using a little bit of water. Same here. The second coat, I always like to use a little more water because it allows the paint to, you know, chalk paint or mud paint, it's porous. So the water just kind of helps it glide a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start working on my blend. Just kind of want to circle this in a bit. And I don't want to get the white on my pink paint, the vintage coral, because I'm going to want to paint all of this solid vintage coral. So I just kind of want to create that circle and then I'll come back in and blend with my white brush. Same thing here.
All right, so I've bordered them both out. Now I'm gonna come in with my white. I'm not gonna dip this in paint again. I'm gonna mist it and I'm just gonna start kind of feathering up and pulling some of that paint back through here. I'm just getting a nice soft blend. A little more water. I wanna go with the direction of the door. So this is kind of shaped funny because it's round on top and then it's you know straight at the bottom. So I just kind of wanna you know, use the shape of the top and then bring it to the bottom and round my corners. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. If your paint feels too dry, you wanna mist a little water on it. Easy peasy. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my brush off. So. One of the most common mistakes with blending is not keeping your brush clean. So I'm just gonna wipe this off with something. I'm just gonna use this because I have it here. So usually I use like an old t-shirt or shop rag, but I'm just gonna squeeze it out a little bit. Okay, so I took, I actually took quite a bit of paint off of my paintbrush as you can see. And I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna come in and blend a little more. I'm gonna start going over this piece right here. Now I wanna use a really light hand. If you're feeling like your hand is a little heavy, Pick some fingers up off the brush and only hold it with three fingers. If you still feel like that's too heavy, hold it with two. I find about, if I'm feeling like my, like my painting's too heavy, um, doing a three, three finger pressure is usually where I wanna be. I still have a good handle on the brush, but I'm not giving it all that pressure with all of my fingers. I'm just gonna clean my corner up. we go that's a beautiful blend this is the first time I've used this paint you guys so um it's quite easy I'm actually going to add just a touch more of the white in here miss some water Looks like this side's ending up just a little bit darker. Usually I don't worry too much about that, but I am gonna add a little more white. So when I say I'm gonna add a little more white, that's about how much, just enough to touch the tips of my brush. And I'm finding that the longevity of the paint for blending is really nice like it's not pulling back at all it's really it's it's got a long work time And that's it, you guys. That is our blend. It's so stinking pretty. I'm super excited about it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned some good tips. And the, the paint is mud paint. Once again, it's the first time I'm using it today. And I found it very easy to use. So I hope that's helpful for you guys. Please like and subscribe. We're going to be using all kinds of fun stuff here on this channel. And I would love to take you along with me.